Hello everybody, this is Julie D from NordoniaHills.News and this is Jabbering with Julie. Yes, once again, it's Friday. So our top story today is good news. I know there's a lot of crazy news out there, but this is good news. The Cleveland Browns, Myers, University Hospitals, and Zenith Helmets have come together and donated $25,000 worth of helmets for the Nardonia football team for this year. Um, I was uh, on the field this morning watching the presentation and it just made me really proud and made me grateful for, you know, everything that the school does and everything that the Browns do uh, for the community, teaching kids how to work together as a team and how to how to win and how sometimes to take a loss. So anyways, um, Coach Fox um, during the presentation said that he was grateful for the, grateful for the donation and introduced Daryl Taylor, who's the director of youth football for the Cleveland Browns. Daryl wanted to congratulate all of the players for their hard work on and off the field and introduced a special message from Cleveland Browns defensive tackle, Larry Ojanobi. I'm, I know I didn't pronounce that right, but I think you know who I'm talking about. Uh, Larry said, as a high school football player, I know the grind that goes into these practices and the excitement that you have looking forward to fall season. He went on to say, today I want to thank you for your commitment as a scholar athlete and for representing on and off the field. We can all do our part to inspire others. New helmets were then uh, unveiled and um, there was representative from Cleveland Browns, Meyer University Hospitals, and I don't know if anybody was from Zenith was on hand, but the, the helmets were in hand. So in other news, as they say, um, I wanna go on and talk about construction projects. As you know, there are a lot of construction projects going on around town, and I'm just gonna update you on some of the progress on some of the projects in town. So we have here a clean land car wash, a little bit more work done um, than last week. Not a big change. Um, also, not much has changed in regards to Jiffy Lube. You know, I keep saying Jiffy Lube, it's Duncan that's going up first. I don't know why I keep doing it. Um, but, anyways, they're still working on I didn't get a new picture, not much has changed. Um, also, Dollar General should be opening sometime in September. And I also got some pictures of our brand new project that we can start watching is the right in, right out off of Route 8. Um, and again, in case you don't know about the project, this is going in between Chipotle and Culver's in the crossings Golden Link Plaza. Uh, it'll create another way to get in and out. You'll only be able to get in by turning right and you'll only be able to get out by turning right. So if you're coming up north from, <clears throat> from Akron, you won't have access to turn in this way. But it will definitely help alleviate some of the traffic there. So it's nice to see that project started. It actually started on Monday. And we actually had a local event to cover. It's uh, unusual because everything has been canceled. But the VFW had a fundraiser this past Sunday. And uh, it, was, it was a car show. So I am popping up here. Oh, by the way, that was my favorite. Some of the cars they had. And uh, it was actually a car and bike show. But um, look at this car. It even has a little version of its car on the dashboard. I thought that was so cute. And you can't miss that one because it's yellow. Um, they also had bikes. And again, it was a fundraiser for the VFW. And it was a very well organized event. And like I said, it was nice to get invited to an event because there aren't many events that are going on right now. So also, um, there are there is, I know we're all we've all been inside for a long time, but there are things that you can still do if you practice your social distancing and wear your mask. Um, what I have up on the screen now is an article we just posted today from Nicolette Marbley 
Um, you might remember last week I said we had to make a pass for her and um, a press pass. So it was for um, this story she was working on. She actually got to go to the Rock Hall and see the social justice exhibit. If you go on our website, ardoniels.news, you can read all about it and you can learn about the curator that put the collection together. And um, I just think it's, at least there are some things that we can do. Nicolette did a great job on the article. Um, it also mentioned in the articles any protocols that you will need to follow if you attend. So it's nice to know there are some things that we can attend. So let's see what else I have for you tonight. It's been a very busy day. Uh, let's see. Safety Town. Safety Town. Well, the picture's kind of small. But Safety Town is located in Rushwood uh, Elementary's parking lot, if you haven't been there. Um, it's actually one of the nicer looking Safety Towns. Um, other communities don't have this nice display, and it's all due to rotary. Um, but the construction cost uh, and, you know, building it and um, keeping it up to date, maintaining it, you know, it's pretty high. So they are, and they would like to update some of the storefronts and put some new ones in there, get rid of the old ones. And, um, you know, it, it, it's a nice thing for the community. Uh, Safety Town is gonna be going on this month. Um, and Well, in August, tomorrow starts August. Um, but it's, um, Safety Town itself is definitely, helpful and it teaches kids the rules of the road. You know, maybe we could have some adults run through it. Um, but this is also used, you know, throughout the year. You know, kids uh, can can use it with their bikes or their trikes or just um, use it because it's real close to uh, playground. So anyways, um, you can go on our website, news if you'd like more information, if you want to help out, if you'd like to donate. Um, and, you know, obviously they're looking for advertisers that would like to have their storefront in the safety town. It's kind of like a cute little town. It's like my little town. I'm not going to sing. Alrighty, what else do I have for you? Um, oh, so the next thing I have is show and tell. So let me, uh, let me show what I'm showing. Okay. So this week was a week where we had the newspaper out. And I just wanted to show you something on the back that you may not have noticed, which I think you would. Did you know Jackson Comfort does plumbing? Not only can they keep your house hot when it's cold outside, but they can keep your house cool when it's hot outside. And they can also take care of your plumbing needs. So how about that? A uh, local company that you know, like, and trust now does plumbing. So I, I didn't know if you knew that. And I also want to let you know that the paper's out. And I'm very proud to um, have a story on the front of a local student who is, who's doing well. She got on the Dean's List when she was taking Kent classes in high school. And she overcame a lot of odds to get where she is. So um, I just wanted to, and that article is also on our website, ardoniehills.news. And you can pick up a paper in lots of places around town. We have more places all the time that are having them. And um, we may have to up our quantity because believe it or not, newspapers for some people are very popular. Um, the big places that you can get them are Marks, Giant Eagle, and Peppers. Um, now we are finally are very happy to add the library to our list. So, um, so we, you can actually pick up a newspaper now at the library. Uh, Long Tail Nids, Compadres, um, uh, the CVS and uh, Walgreens, Bin Treasures, Office Max, Postnet, uh, UPS Store. Um, like I said, lots of places. Will's Jewelers has copies. Um, so anyways, um, this is Julie D signing off. I hope you have a great weekend and see you later.